It's this it Friday. Friday. Yeah. 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 It's this Friday. It's this Friday. It's this Friday. It's this Friday. Oh, God. I'm so happy you told me that. You know what that means? Thursday. Thursday. You should not do that. You should give it to us next Monday, Mr. Hall. Yes, on Monday. Give us the weekend to study. Yeah. No, 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 no. There's one thing I'm strongly against is ever. Ever a Monday quiz because kids, oh, what the good weekend and study? You, you know what you do on Saturday? Anything but study. Hey, I would study. You know what I would do? I would take advantage of that considering how bad my grade looks on that last quiz. My mind was like, I'm going to study for the rest of the week. Yeah, I'm going to study for the rest of the week. We'll study on that Wednesday. All right, listen, your quiz is moved from Friday. To next Tuesday, the 19th. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, Which means AP and Bio. Oh, well, I feel bad for you. All the We Why? will be oh. open to have a quiz this week. Oh, okay, okay, I need points. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, your <laughs> quiz will not be Friday. I know that's not normal. So it gives us a little bit more extra time to get some stuff crunched in. I do feel rushed because I feel like we are falling behind, but that is okay. That's a good one. And Friday. Well, Friday three hours early. Well, it is. Like Everyone needs a calculator. Friday is the 15th, man. I thought there was one on the 22nd. How did you feel? Not me. I'm Patricia. Thank you. I remember. I remember. It's a long time. I remember you following that. I looked back and just said, like, that's it. I posted on Facebook twice. Oh, my sweet Jesus. Is it really? Yeah. What? There's one next Friday, too. There's one early release next Friday. Yes. We do problems. 
Give me a second. Let's get those down. Shut the door like I'm in prison with glass between me and the glass before you. Are we allowed to wear those? I guess. I don't see why you couldn't. Why didn't they give those out for free? <laughs> they cost more money. They are expensive. You can throw them down. Can no one do it? Do it now. I heard. <laughs> Terminator. Dalton, you're so uncultured. Uh, Where does the Terminator? Whoever does not know the board on sports like the Terminator, so it's just a lot of them. No, that's Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> the Terminator is, uh, on oh, the I know. Know. Arnold Schwarzenegger played in both Terminator and the Pre Your franchise. The Predator. Predator. Oh. Predator. You don't know what Predator is? I Predator is an alien. Oh, Mr. Hall, I remember to exercise him from this class. I remember stupid things. All right, everybody got the problems. Did yeah, you just call Predator yes. stupid? All right. So this first one, a photon has a frequency of 2.97 times 10 to the 6 hertz. Calculate its energy. So we know one thing. What are we trying to find? Energy. energy. So we know the second light equation, which gives us energy, is energy equals to Planck's constant times frequency, right? Planck's constant. So you have to determine what do you have. I have frequency. I know this first by looking and seeing hertz. Second, because I see the word frequency. So do I need to move this equation around any at all? No. No, so we can just throw it straight to the calculator. Anybody got Planck's constant to memory yet? Oh yeah, I do. 6.626 times 10 to the negative. Negative 34 joule seconds. I just Here's one thing. I just told you that. He looked at his notes. He did. <laughs> he did all of them. I heard a page full of them. Can't look at those on your quiz, can you? Repetition. So we get 6 point stitch times 10 to the negative 34 joule second times the 2.97 times 10 to the 6 hertz. That means hertz and seconds cancel, leaves me with joules. And now we just got to punch that in our calculator. Please, everybody, do me a favor. Right now, I want you to punch this in your calculator so that next Tuesday when you take your quiz, you're not missing points because you can't read the calculator. Yeah. 
I'm all full of that. I am too. So should we round it? Yeah, because I got one. Did you have one? I Hold on. It's a Monday. Monday madness. I get one point nine six seven nine eight one four. Alright. Here's the important part. Are you getting the times ten to make twenty seven? Yeah. yeah. We're close enough it counts. I wouldn't take off for that. Let me see what you got. consider easy. It's practically a give you. I gave it to you. Second one. What is the wavelength of a wave of 6.57 times 10 to the 14th hertz? Oh, we can use an equation, the first equation. Which is? Uh, oh, I don't know. Dinosaur. Speed of light is equal to wavelength times frequency. Oh, it's like Peppa Pig's little brother, George. <laughs> I'm trying to find wavelength. So, what's the speed of light? <coughs> Do I need to arrange this in? Yes. It's 2.98 times 10 to the M over 58. Per so we're going to do some algebra to get wavelength by itself. Hey, we see her. So it'll be interesting to see light by, by frequency. I don't want to jump by anybody right here. If you are totally lost, look at me and rapidly blink your eyes. Okay, how I got here. I have wavelength right here. I need wavelength by itself. So I have to get it by itself. So I look at the operations being done. Wavelength is being times by frequency. So I need to get that out of there so I divide both sides by frequency. Mr. Fondale is here today. If you have students that need to report to him, Ms. Powell will not be here today. So. That cancels out frequency on that side and leaves me with frequency here. So that'll give me speed of light divided by frequency is equal to wavelength. But I'm that guy that I don't like what I'm trying to solve for on the right side. I'm a creature of habit. I like it on the left side. So I do wavelength equals speed of light divided by frequency. It's the same thing. This is hard. Did you just plug in your numbers and then switch it all around? You absolutely can, but this is the difference between the science guy and the math people. Because, you know, I, I struggle with this in physics. As the kids come in and they want to plug all the numbers in, and then they're like, oh, that's, so that's what's by itself. In science, we're all about, what am I trying to find for? Well, let's set it where it's by itself. Then we plug our numbers in, but if you want to do it that way, Taylor, it's totally fine. You are not breaking math. So, the speed of light is equal to what, Dalton? 2.98 times 10 to the 8 
m over s. Meters per second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Divided by frequency. Which is 6.57 times 10 to the 14 hertz. How did you get that? Because it's up there. <laughs> Good job. I've learned that stating the obvious is the right answer sometimes. Exactly. <laughs> Most of the time. You did what, Dalton? Because Mr. Hall gave it to us. That's the right answer. Because he said so. Yeah. Okay, so. You so hit and give detention, but in here you don't. Yeah. Hertz. <laughs> now we punch that in the calculator. And I'm going to reset my calculator just in case I got problems. The fine big number. Okay. I'm good. I think I did wrong. I don't know. I fucked in the head. My desk complaints in the wrong place. Check your check your exponents. Make sure you got it in uh, parentheses so that it's not reading a division of a exponent. Good. Or if you just not figure the reading at all, that's what I do. Oh my god, I got it. Yay! Yes. What did you do? I don't know what she did. What did you not do correctly? Let me see your capital. I throw this trash against you all. I can tell you what your problem is. You multiply the I didn't get the negative seven foot. What are you rambling on about? I get what he said. Did you pick George and Tony? Excellent answer. Well, I saw Bruno and Prince. Mr. Hall. Matthew's Bruno. I'm not going that deep. Excellent. As long as the calculator reads properly, you're okay. That's why I like to use parentheses. It's like me looking, and I'm going to be honest with you. I know I'm going to like freak you out. Your calculator is stupid. Ms. Cole said these don't to do anything. <laughs> the calculator will do what it's being told to do, but it has a specific way it reads things. With me saying that, that's me telling you that what will happen is if you don't put it in parentheses, it could read it as you're dividing the x -bone. Big problem. That happens in the calculator. Let me see what you get. You again. Go. I'm going to try something. I don't know that next one. You put it in parentheses, your world changes. Guys. Listen, some of you are not putting it in parentheses and it's giving you the wrong answer. I have fixed maybe three of yours just by putting parentheses in it. Do not be scared of parentheses. Parentheses is your friend. God, parentheses. I didn't put in parentheses, but I did give Elijah, why do you use both equations? Because you use the side of notation. Everybody else in my That's messed up. She's times 10. You keep doing what you're doing, Taylor. That's probably cool. Good job. Yay. Hey, so question is, any questions? Okay, I'm going to pour on you a little bit, okay? It's time to put some steroids in our problem. Oh, I like steroids. It makes me big and strong. All right. All right.
Alright! You're like, you're like a junior down on their head. So, is this dangerous? Look at your scale. Don't you look at me and tell me maybe. You'll say yes or no. You have confidence in your ability to your sight. It is. Yes. yes. It is dangerous? It's ultraviolet. Yes. Ultraviolet. <laughs> ultraviolet. <laughs> Negative seven. Ultraviolet. I'm going to say... Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Mr. Rock, I'm going to pull on you for a moment. I'm going to say neutral. No, hey, there is no off. such thing as neutral. It's yes or no. Come on, I say. I thought if it was 400 or less, it was 400 what? Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You're doing wonderful. You. Right there's the cutoff point. <laughs> <laughs> what do you put your wavelength in to determine if it's dangerous or not? <laughs> Emily just said it. Nanometers. Nanometers. What is your wavelength in right now? Let's put it into nanometers. Why are we doing this? Because the cutoff point, it's a set point. You can determine off of it. This is why I love this problem. Why did you fall for the trick to look and say, oh, that's negative 7. Oh, 10 to the negative 7. That's ultraviolet. It's <laughs> I did not take it. You yeah, asked if it was dangerous. <laughs> so we went off of what you gave us. Sometimes we need to do some more work. Let's put this in nanometers. No, no, no tears today. Sir, just the same thing times 10 to the. Alright, so we're going from the meter to the nanometer. Meter is the base unit, which means, what's the XP unit? Zero. Zero minus nanometer, what's the exponent? Negative nine. Beautiful job. Negative nine, zero minus a negative nine. The same as plus a positive nine, which gives me nine. Nine is in the English sense of the number, not in the German of no. No way, Now, do I need to multiply by anything? No, you need to no, because there is no exponent on the unit. <coughs> what Dalton says we need to add. Add what? No, do yeah, not tell do not tell the kids it was I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. It was not shot on. We add what? Negative seven. Negative seven? Negative. Why we add negative seven? Because you told us to. <laughs> because it's what you started with. So now, 9 plus negative 7 is 2. All right. Y'all listen up. Mr. Hall is going to submit. I give it to Miss Cole. It works. She's a brilliant lady. Don't y'all dare tell her that I said that I approve of this message. We're going to do the scoop man. Scoop. <laughs> 10 squared. The same as 100. So multiplying by 100, which means we move the decimal two places. But which way? Left or right? To the right. Take it back. Now you go. One, two. You don't want to get me started. I want everybody in your class. Oh, no. <laughs> so we get 453.58 nanometers. Now, use that information and you'll tell me whether it's dangerous. No. No. Can't tell. Oh. Yes? Uh, no way. way. Do you know? Look at the chart. So it's very dangerous. No, it's not because it's blue. It's like <laughs> Nice. Is it dangerous? No. no. Why? Look where it falls. It's falling between 400 and 500. It does Which is hitting somewhere around blue. For any of you women in the room wanting to correct me, it's around Richard Petty blue. So I'll just say it. Richard Petty. Right. Oh. Oh my gosh! Mama number five? 
<laughs> Cora voted number 24. Which leaves me with this. <laughs> Identify the color. Now I want to prove something, though. If you gave me coral number four, <laughs> what the world is that? And I would probably hunt you down What's and go, what in called? the world is this? Can you give me the colors of these? Mamba number five. What's wrong? And I was going to why he made it that color. I don't think it's fair game, but you know, a little, little, little. Listen, I will have that on the board the day you take the quiz. Okay. Uh -huh. It will be there. So you can do that. I'm even the person that you can get up and walk over and look at it. Yes. So it is blue. It is not dangerous because it's blue light. If it was dangerous, a lot of y'all would be killing us right now. What? Holy smokes, I'd be killing us. I'm wearing blue. <laughs> You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> so what does black do? Black, black absorbs black. all the colors. We will get into that later on this week. It's very, very exciting. This week you will get to learn how color works. Now, is there any questions? No questions? Now, I will look at you and tell you, this problem... More practice needed. Yes, more practice. I have plenty more practice. Don't worry. Practice is coming. This, right here, is a little step up. Now, these two are some pretty good questions to ask you. Why? You have to catch the cutoff point. Do not try and leave this in meters and determine whether or not that's dangerous. Don't be that person. Put it in nanometers and determine, okay? I'm getting a bunch of blank stairs. We hear what you're Don't saying. Don't be more. We're definitely going to be. Why can't we just because of how it's represented over there on the visible light. So we have to change it to get what we're told about. If you can read it, I can read that. How it's setting there. I automatically look at that and go, oh, it's just 453. And then I go to the problem. I don't have to do this, but some students are going to have to do this. And there's nothing wrong with that if you need to do that. Do that. That's why I took the time to do it in class. So either one's right? Yeah, either one's right, just as long as you can read it properly. Yes? Well, we have to do model conversions for any of these. What do you mean? You have to do Are you going to make a big old question where you have to do The question. The answer to the question, is a mole conversion problem fair game on your quiz, is yes. Oh to look at you and say, will these and mole conversions link together? No. Okay. You don't have to find the speed of a mole conversion, though. <laughs> <laughs> what is how often it occurs every week? <laughs> okay. I just guessed at that point. It occurs every week. All right, here we go. Now we're going to pick up the pace because, man, we're falling behind and we've got to get this problem in before the bell rings. So, what amount of energy? What are we looking for? Energy. 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 So we know we're going to use energy equals wavelength. I'm sorry, not wavelength. That's Planck's constant. I apologize. I'll tell you, it wasn't supposed to be You'll correct me. Thank you. Planck's constant times frequency. Dino's not in there. So I know I'm going to use that one, but where am I starting? I have nanometers, which is a unit of length, so I got wavelength. If you can't figure that out, just look. Wavelength, I give you it. I'm very helpful. Mr. Hall, such a nice guy, I see. Yeah. Okay. We have wavelength. There's wavelength in this equation. No, so we got a problem. Wavelength is in what equation? That first equation, C equals MC squared. <laughs> Frequency of light equals wavelength times frequency. Yeah. Speed of light equals wavelength times frequency. For us to solve this problem, we have to figure out what frequency is. So to do this, you got to do some algebra. We got to get frequency by itself. So we're multiplying. So we got to divide that by wavelength. Which will give me frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by wavelength. 
At this point, we can plug stuff in. So 2.98 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by the wavelength for the love of Jesus. I will get to you in a moment. You are driving me insane. Somebody really wants your attention. Well, they'll get over it. They'll get it in a moment. You are more important. It's not my wife. You <laughs> 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 I know who it is. It ain't my wife. Nanometers. There's a problem here. What's the problem? We're in nanometers. We're in nanometers. We gotta be meters. Meters. So we gotta do a conversion. You know, this is just crazy. Okay, we just tell you it's dangerous. <laughs> we already got it. We just tell you it's dangerous. We're not dangerous. So 600 times 10. Nano is negative 9 minus meters, which is 0, which equals negative 9. So divide by 600 times 10 to the negative 9 meters. Meters are canceling. We've got to punch this in the calculator. <laughs> so we get 4.9667 times 10 to the 14 hertz. It hurts. Oh my god, that's how you know it's dangerous at all. It hurts. Now, <laughs> is that the answer we're looking for? No, we're looking for energy. So we have to take that number and work with it. So energy is equal to points constant times frequency. Do I need to move anything around? No. No, no it's set. Got, you already got. Uh, Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds times that frequency you just saw for. So, we now punch this in. Seconds and hertz cancel, and I'm left with 3.2909 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Beautiful job. That's not right, though. I don't know. I have a question for you. Is no, this dangerous? Uh, no. What's the trick? It's starting to go to Wavelength and nanometers compare. 600 nanometers. Is it dangerous? No. No, it falls to the right. You're looking at yellow no. or orange. You're always going to ask if it's dangerous or not. I will not always ask that. But I'm doing that because... I'll do stuff like this. I'll have you solve a problem for energy and ask you to determine whether it's dangerous or not. I gave you the information you need to start with. You've got to pick up and start determining what you need. Listen, we'll pick this up. You guys are doing great and wonderful. Now we're going to first. All right, so I gave you a sheet. We're going to work on this sheet right now. So we talked about these two light equations. Today is the day that we get really good at using them. Now let's address tomorrow. I will See your beautiful faces for a brief moment for attendance tomorrow, but there will be no chemistry going on. <laughs> Good call, Mr. Hall. If you miss, you will be counted absent. No. Oh, okay.
Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think there should be a king of three on the ICT and the SAT. Oh, we need to show up early? Yeah. <laughs> 45 <laughs> minutes early to get yeah, chemistry in. Yeah, so we can... And then 8th period can stay 25 minutes late to get chemistry in. I'd much rather do the early ones. <laughs> okay, so... I gave you this practice sheet, and I want to walk through this with you guys. I want to work, and we're going to try something a little different today, too. Okay? Uh, so, I'm going to work through number one. So, number one says, how much energy is in a photon of light that has a wavelength of 4.62 nanometers? So, I've been given wavelength. So 4.62 nanometers, and I'm trying to find energy. So this is the first question, and this is where I'm saying, please, for the love of all humanity, drop your pride at this door right now. Does everybody understand where I got this two pieces of information? Okay. This is how I recommend starting any problem. Figure out where you're starting. Figure out where you're trying to get to. This is so important. If you got no idea where you're starting or where you're going, you got no idea how to work the problem. And that's a big issue. So, I've got to find energy. So, energy is equal to Planck's constant times frequency, right? So, I don't have anything I can really solve for there, but I have another light equation. That was the speed of light equals dyno V. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Sorry for the delay. You're okay, Miss Hall. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, I will say with this also, the uh, funny story is Friday at the game, as I'm standing there at the fence line trying to stay dry, uh, Miss Hall had came by the student section and some of the students were hollering. I didn't hear Miss Hall, I just heard Hall. And so I turned around like, what? And it was kind of funny because my wife thought it was hilarious that y'all you know, were hollering for Miss Hall. I turned around. She said, like, he didn't hear the miss, did you? He was like, not this. He said, no, they're hollering for me. <laughs> Get you every time, though. Yeah, every time. So we've got speed of light equals wavelength times frequency. Now, can I use this information? This is a constant. And this is something I like to do for physics. So I'm going to lay a little bit of foundation for physics. For those of you that are like, challenge me, Mr. Hall. I'll see you in physics. Please don't. C is a constant, so I got it. I know it. It's good. Lambda is wavelength, and I was given it, so I got it. The, the V, or frequency, I do not have it. I have one X, which means I can use this equation to solve for that. Now, here's the cool thing. What links the two together? I know Planck's constant. I'm trying to find energy. I can find frequency from here. So we're going to use this equation, find frequency, and then plug frequency into here to get energy. Everybody understand the thought process? Okay. So I need frequency by itself. Right now we're multiplying by wavelength. So I can divide by wavelength to give me frequency equals the speed of light divided by wavelength. Now, the speed of light, as you guys know, is equal to 2.98 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Now, my wavelength, we got a problem. What's the problem with my wavelength? In nanometers. It's in nanometers. I'm so proud y'all are starting to catch on to this. Tricky, tricky, Mr. Hall is. Right here, nanometers. What's it got to be in? Meters. meters. So we got to convert that. So, nano. 
So I get 4.62 times 10 to the negative ninth meters. If you're freaking out on what I just did, I looked nano is 10 to the negative 9 minus meters, which is the base of 0, which gives me negative 9. So now I can plug this number in down here. So 4.62 times 10 to the negative 9 meters. Now I question you, why does it matter that we do that conversion? They have to be the same unit, so they will cancel out. I want you to understand why you're doing something, just not to just randomly do it. So meters cancel leaves me with inverse seconds, which is also equal to hertz, which is what frequency should be. So now we can punch that into a calculator. A seriously bad one. You all punch it in a calculator and see what you get. 6.54 or 4502 I got the same thing as Dalton. Please make sure the rest of you are getting that. Some of you are struggling and the fact that you're wanting to do the whole multiply is 10 and put in an exponent thing instead of doing the E. If you're doing that and you don't use parentheses, you are messing it up. The calculator is not reading it right. Your calculator is stupid. It doesn't understand English. You know, look at it and go, hey, yo, do this. And it does it. You punch stuff in and it like loses its mind. Any questions at this point? Perfect. Okay, so let's go on and figure out what energy is. This is where different color markers come in. So energy is equal to Planck's constant times frequency. To any one of you that did not try punching that in the calculator, shame on you. And whenever it comes quiz day and you miss your points, don't blame me. So this is Planck's constant, which is what is Planck's constant? Seconds, not seconds. Thank you. You gave the units with it. I'm very proud. Very good job. Yay. Yes, you do. Come grab this. Okay, now we multiply. What are we going to multiply this thing by? 6.5402 that's the wrong way of saying it, or we can say just the frequency we stop for. So hertz and seconds cancel, because it feels good to cancel out the hertz, right? Yeah. Now, we're going to take that number and multiply it by 6 point stitch. I bet you'll get 4.2739. You won't believe what I forgot. Your next night are very, very important. Okay, bro. No, that's your number three. Yeah. So let's just start doing this in my classroom, bro. Take your moment, type it in calculator, try it yourself. Do not just rely on Mr. Hall's calculator skills. Always remember, you know have Mr. Hall's calculator skills when it comes to... You know how Mr. Hop calculates the skill when you take quiz. Me no punch numbers in for you. You punch in yourself. Yes? Yes. Now, my question to you. What is your question? 
Okay. I'm going to address the second problem by using this problem. This is the amount of energy for one of these photons. So let's say I had, I want to know how much energy was in 12 of those photons. What would I do? Look at you! You're so small! So you take your energy, energy and multiply it by 1.5 times 10 to the 13 because that's, yeah? See, but the problem is, if you look, Mr. Hammer can do some wavelength. You oh. have to use wavelength to do what we just did to get to that. Which brings me to what we are going to do today. First, I know what we're going to do today. Whoa, 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 not cool, bro. Not cool. What show is got on my nerves so bad? Phineas and Ferb is one of the greatest shows ever. I don't know, sometimes it's okay, but then you have like dumb episodes like, Girls in my pants. <laughs> that, show was, that, was that, was that show was hilarious. You never say that, that again. Alright. I need you all to do me a favor. You're going to elect a leader. Do it now. I'll give you five seconds. Dalton. 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 Oh, wait. What? Yeah. <laughs> Dalton, you have been chosen. So this is something I like to do. And this is fun. I like to do it a lot in physics. And I, I picked it up. And I think I'm going to start doing a little more in here. We're going to trade places. I want to get inside your head. Some of you in this room are sitting here and you're struggling. But you shouldn't have the person who knows what he's doing. <laughs> hey, y'all elected him, not me, man. Well, we didn't know what he's doing. You know, are you going to ask all the questions Dalton does you every day? Uh, probably. <laughs> Here's the thing. Dalton's going to go to the board. Dalton is going to work on number two. But this is the thing. Dalton's not just going to solve it. You have to walk Dalton through the problem. Hey, also, very important for you all to listen, because when I start having, like, two people that's answering all the questions, giving all the direction, I put them in timeout and they can't talk. I need to get inside your head, because some of you are not dropping your pride at the door and you have no idea what is going on. This is good for you. So, Dalton, why are you just still sitting at your desk? Get up. I'm freaking out. Mr. Cook, get up. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome my first TA, Mr. Cook. Hi, Mr. Cook. Mr. Cook, start on number two, and everyone will walk you through it. Before I do anything, I need one of my mini calculators that I've sent over here. Thank you. I saw a problem with Okay. Have at it. Y'all tell him how we're going to get this thing started. Have energy. <laughs> Okay. We have You're energy. For the energy. <laughs> what the energy equal? It equals place constant V. Because I knew that. You did. Okay. Make sure you underline it. Continue. You have wavelength. Mm -hmm. Given to the, the dyno. It's so dyno. This is the dyno. So yeah, got... speed of light equals. <laughs> dino frequency. Frequent dino is the speed of light. Okay. Dino equals... Am I doing this right or should I be doing it? Dino equals 3.12 times 10 to the negative 12. This is one of those that I'm not going to look at you. Sometimes I think it's good for you. Failure is a great teacher. So sometimes when we're doing stuff like this, I will let you make a mistake, go on for a little bit, then I'll stop you and make you fix okay. it. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to jump in. Dino. This is... Oh, I forgot what this is. What speed of light. Yeah, speed of light, that's what it's called. It's yeah. speed of light. It's free, uh, not wavelength. We have these two. We need to find this. So what do we do? You need to get a I, I, cell I'm trying to give you wavelength. Well, we have to do this first. You're, you're good. You yeah, won't get to do Oh. Now we got to wrap all this down. What is, what is a speed of light? 2.9 meters per second. 2.9 meters per second. 
What's the egg pound and egg? What's a dino? Three 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 one, one, two. Two. Times ten to the negative twelve. What? One two. <laughs> times ten to the negative twelve. What's a unit meter? Yep. Oh, that's right. You have to. Okay. okay. If we have meter on top, we have meter on bottom. You can cancel out. They cancel out. Good job. Good job. You will. You will destroy the <laughs> SAT. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Put it in calculator. Put it in calculator. <laughs> See, Mr. Hall, we can totally teach a class. Make sure you divide it. I must divide. And make sure you use parentheses. <laughs> you would get very wrong problem. <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, by the way, Owen. John, you're in timeout. No more talk. Who's in timeout? You too. Hey. Y'all doing, doing beautiful, you're doing great, but I want to see everybody else. Okay, what did everybody get? Good job. Katie, we got to round. But you still done very good. So this... Is equal to frequency. Yes. Yeah. I knew that. Uh, Dalton, you forgetting something? Oh, units matter. You're right. <laughs> I was just making sure you were awake. Just <laughs> 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 make sure you were awake and paying attention. That's what it was. Okay. Uh huh. Very smart girl. So we'll, we'll, oh. <laughs> so you a different color. Oh, a different color. That's wrong. Purple, well, purple, no purple. purple is a purple. I may not wish for not purple. Purple. Board, but, yeah. we we use, purple and board. You shy. You shy. Okay. We what? Thanks, constant. Six we point have energy. Six, six point stitch. Owen. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we can't talk. We got energy. I'm finally understanding. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. No, we I need not consist the energy. The total. No, we don't. No, that's okay. No, I thought that the answer today was just one. The energy of one. Well, well, well. I'm confused. Just, just go. You probably know more than me. That's okay. Thanks, constant. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. What's the question? Don't run by the question. She said, don't we have energy, but... Oh, God, I'm nervous now. <laughs> speak up on that, Mr. Cook. I'm all the way back here. I'm nervous now. <laughs> okay. Anxiety. <laughs> Tears. <laughs> What was the question? Oh, do we not already have energy? Oh, you're getting ready to solve for him. Yeah. Okay, that's keep it. It. <laughs> okay, we got more power. Paints constant times frequency. Frequency is equal to this. So I'm going to write this down because I'm short. 6.626 times 10 to the what? <laughs> Oh, that, oh, we take this a number. Someone please read that to me. Because I don't think it's 9.5513 times 10 to the 19th power. Why am I going higher? Okay, what happens now? You're in time out. No, I'm in time out now. No call from you. No, so something else happens first. Huh? Yes. yes, good job. Very proud. Now, what do you do now? Put in calculator. Put in calculator. Oh, I know the
Why is it not done? Because you said, said it wasn't. Elijah, you're in time out. <laughs> Why is it not done? Because we are calculating the total here. Oh. Wait. Hold on. The rest of the class, besides the three, said time out and jump in and say something. It's in one. Yeah. Five times ten to the thirteen. So we have to multiply. Why? Why? Explain to me why. It's not as it's important that you know what to do, but why you're doing it. Are you gonna explain it? I don't care. Oh, because they're one photon for that. What is that? That's your amount of energy. For one photon. One photon. For one photon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I have a whole bunch of photons. So now I'm trying to figure out all the energy for all of them. So that's the amount of energy for one of them. You just multiply that by the number of photons. And it gives you? The total energy. Beautiful job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Somebody want to read that to me? 1.5. 1.5. Times 10 to the 13th. Okay. Does everybody know where I got this number from? Mm -hmm. If you can hear me, raise your hand. Well, some of us are Elijah. Okay. Y'all multiply that. I tell you what I do. <laughs> I see what the, why the voice is funny now. <laughs> okay, what did everybody get to? What did everybody get to? No more. Zero nine four nine three. That's what I. Okay. <coughs> mm. uh, Jay. Joel. Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. Whatever your unit would be. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, total. Oh, I'm gonna put this in another pretty color. Use red. Oh, about the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna go right about here. So the total amount. Oh, I'm not spelled right. Uh, <laughs> it's equal to zero point nine four. What's the rest? Hey, same thing. You three still in timeout. Who is that fair? <laughs> don't, don't let me give it to him now. <laughs> you can't give it to somebody that isn't in timeout. I don't care. But you need to like speed it up, Mr. Cook. Or you're gonna get fired. My name's Peyton and I'm Brady. Where are you? Ready. <laughs> you got this, Brady. I got the hits. Nature paper. All right, Owen's going to do number three. He's going to lead you on number three, but it's just like before. I want to hear you all. I'm trying to get inside your head because some of you will not talk with me. You guys are going to like this, but I'm saving much. Number three is calculate the wavelength and energy of light that has a frequency of 2.84 times 10 to the 15th hertz. Man, this problem's going to hurt so nice. Did I do that, Did you do the job? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Good morning, Mr. King. Good morning, class. Shout and Elijah, you two are still in timeout. You guys Dalton, you're not in timeout. You can help. Dalton is not in timeout not yet. yet. How are we starting? Not yet. All right, guys, what do we have? We have frequency. Okay. So, so we've got equations. Speed of light is what? Two point nine eight times ten to the eighth. Okay, you're a little bit ahead of me. We're looking for the formula. Dinosaur. Dino what? Okay, and what does that stand for? Wavelength. Okay. Okay, and what's that? All right. And you have frequency. What is frequency equal? Two point eight four times ten. Two point eight four times ten. I'm just scared to pick up the pace here. You know, we're just like killing time. Okay, what do you do? <laughs> Divide by frequency. Well, you, you, still, don't, you still don't have energy up here yet. So how do you get energy? Divide by frequency. So we can get wavelength by itself so we can find out. I know, but this is the point. What's the formula for energy? H, 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 H,
The inverse of seconds is hertz. But that's not the That's what I'm looking for. Have some confidence in the stuff that you're doing. You're right. You can do this, but know why you're doing it. Okay, so as soon as I said that, y'all's hearts dropped. Right? <laughs> know but why you're doing what you're doing and have confidence in it. All right, what do you get? 1.0493 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. 1.0493 times 10 to the negative 7. Good job. You better get a timeout. Sorry, you guys. Nobody else thank you. Well, it's half credit. We have to find energy here. Okay. Oh. What are we do now? Oh. Oh. Come on, son. Tell me what to plug in. Aiden. I'm listening to you. Now timeout. Um, I'm like sponsor. I'm like Okay, so what is it? Six point six two six times ten to the negative thirty four. Thirty four what? Joules times joules. What else? Times second. There you go. No. <laughs> Alright, so what number are we going to use? We're going to use that 1.0493 times 10 to the negative 7 that we just saw for? No. no. Not even time, so. We're going to use um, frequency. Why? Because that's really in the equation. <laughs> okay. The that formula says. Now in time out. Yes, that. Okay. What we'll goes next, guys? 2.84 times 10 to the Okay, why? And what? Because hearts is the inverse of shift. Hearts, hearts. Remember, you just gotta take a second if you get rid of the hurt. <laughs> <laughs> With a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I have a hotline. What do you get? Can I call 1.8818 times 10 to the negative 18? 1.8818. Yeah. Times 10. To the negative 18. To the negative 18 joules. And that is your final Beautiful. Yeah, both of them have to be the answers because I asked you two questions in a place. These are Hey, you guys, listen, this is the thing. You guys start developing some confidence in yourself in these things. You, you've really got to get to the point where you're confident in what you're doing. Now, remember, 